Okay, class, this is a quick um, description of how to do your three-point birdhouse. Um, the first thing you want to do is find a reference and your bird. Um, so I am doing the dueling wrens. It's a wren that um, sings with its mate in a way that synchronizes their song. It's like impossible to separate the two. So I was thinking about these two forms coming together um, to create a new unit. So I found this architect in Moscow, Russia. It was an architectural agency there that I really liked that does uh, something called parasitic um, architecture. It's a kind of architecture that situation situates itself into existing architecture like a parasite um, so I I'm referencing my bird and I'm referencing this architecture and I'll show it to you in a moment um, well here let me just take this off for a minute so here's the um, here is the architecture I was looking at in Russia Moscow um, I liked this idea of this song coming between two objects, right? So I'm really thinking about this as sort of metaphor. Um, and I, I just thought this was sort of a beautiful piece. Now when you pick your architecture, you don't have to replicate it exactly. You are being inspired. So I am creating two existing rectangles on either side that my object or architecture is going to be wedged in between. So I'm using this as a reference, but I'm in no way just feeling like obligated to the form exactly. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Photoshop here. So I'm going to start my form by creating two rectangles in the back, and then I'm going to create a series of smaller ones that are wedged in between. Do not try to replicate your image, just be inspired, because then you're more free to make your own changes, okay? So let me just get my pen out here, and I'm going to do this in Photoshop so that I can kind of overlap it with the, the video later, okay? All right, so the first thing I did is identify my horizon line, and my horizon line I do believe is right up here. Oops. So that's about my horizon line. Here is my central axis heading down to my other vanishing point, which is way down here, okay? Once I have that, here's my left vanishing. And here's my right vanishing, approximately. It's a little bit off the page, okay? So when you're starting, you could work in colors. And originally, I did um, a red, blue, and green. So I'll pick a red going left. So I start with my front axis, if you want. But personally, I feel like I needed my big forms first, which were my two buildings on the left and right. So I'm going to start with the axis for that, which is right here, and it is heading to that vanishing point that the central axis is. I'm going to go to the other building's edge, okay? I'm going to lay its edge that used to be vertical, and now it's heading down to the third vanishing point. Okay, I'm going to do my open book back to my left. Okay, and then to my right. I'm not gonna change colors right now, you guys. Okay. The front of the other building heading to the left vanishing. Here's heading to the left vanishing, okay. And then on the other building heading to the right vanishing point heading to the right vanishing point. Okay, look at the back, heading to the right vanishing point. Back of this building, heading to the right. Okay, and now I have to cap these off with my verticals that are no longer vertical. They're heading down to my third point, the new point. Okay, so I'll go ahead and
sorry, it's hard to do with Photoshop. So my edges are now leaning in, okay? So I basically have my two buildings. Um, let me go ahead and cap this in the back here. And let me find this edge heading to the right. That one's heading to the right, vanishing, right, vanishing. Okay, and then this vertical is leaning ever so slightly to the third. So I've got my two nestled forms, okay? And that's allowing me to now reach in to my, um, my wedged shapes, okay? So I'm gonna go to my front here, my front wedge, head to the left vanishing, left vanishing, open your book, right? Right vanishing, right vanishing. And instead of vertical, I'm gonna head downward to my bottom third vanishing point. Okay, heading to the third vanishing point. Now I gotta get my back. So I'm over here, I'm onto the right side of central, so I'm going to the left. And then I'm on the left side, so I head to the right vanishing. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and create a small little unit coming out here. Okay. That's heading to the left. I'm going to cap it off to the right. Every move you make goes to a vanishing point now. It's almost easier. Okay. I'm going to bring my vertical down. It's no longer vertical. It's leaning to my third point. Okay. Left vanishing. Right vanishing. Okay. Every move you make goes to a vanishing point. Just like I said, to some degree it's easier. If you're, if you're going off somewhere else, it's wrong. Okay. A little bit of a lean here because I'm hit, heading towards the vanishing point. My verticals are no longer vertical. Let's go to the left vanishing, and then I'll bring down my slight lean. It's heading down to my third point. Okay. And that's it, right? Like, that's how I'm going to start is with my basic shapes. Don't worry about being perfectly like your reference. Just use your reference as a guide, okay? You shouldn't feel um, obligated to every window and every structure. Just use the idea and, and create your own. So from here, I have what? One, two, three, four, maybe five forms. Don't do more than five forms. You could even play a game, honestly. Build any five cubes in any construction for your first layer and go from there. Um, that's a fine way to start. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, the amount of colors you wanna use is up to you. I think too many colors can be confusing, but if it helps you, go ahead and use three. But then at this point, you're gonna to wanna to edge it out and get your primary color, uh, values in. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the video now. <clears throat> so here's the image I'm looking at. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I, um, I edged my colors out first before I move on. And then I established my one, two, three value pattern. Dark right, medium left, and I, do, I almost always do a top side um, light. Once I did that, I just started breaking in stuff. So like right here, you can see I'm sort of creating an inspiration from this, this window image over here. Um, I'm kind of thinking about these facets changing over here. Um, I've created a couple interesting windows and entrances for the birds. Um, here's like a little place that, you know, a bird can perch. Um, some of these are the triangles I've taught you guys. Um, so I've started with my original cube and I found a point to connect to. So I found a point here and went down to the original rectangles corner, found this point, went back to the original um, corner, and then I basically used my third vanishing point for my vertical. So some of these facets that are like this are that triangle idea or a slide. It's a slide, okay? 
And I'll continue, I'm, I'll, I'll set this back a little. I'm gonna continue working on this. But for next week, you really only need to get here, right here. I want your five forms, three to five forms, inter intersecting with a basic value pattern. If you have this, you're going to succeed because you're just going to do what you did with complex form. You'll break some of them into cylinders. You'll create tables. You'll create slides, tunnels, doorways, windows balconies, um, but everything should be created out of your original five cubes. So really this, this is the most important phase is right here. From here you can just start cutting it up. Um, and like I said, I'm not copying the image to the right, I am being inspired by it. And that's going to give you some freedom to sort of take the ideas but not feel like you have to replicate what you're seeing. Okay. And then I'm doing exactly what we did in complex form. Nothing new here, right? You already know how to do these things. Um, and I'll continue on this drawing. And then next time, what I'll do is show you how to add textures to it with your markers. Okay, good luck.